Hi, this is PD at Bergsberg Arcade at BergsbergArcade.com, and this is tutorial 220. In our last tutorial, we went over the basics of a particle system, at least a brief explanation of what all the elements are in a particle system. Uh, this time around, we're actually going to make that gate uh, portal particle system. So I'm going to go ahead, just add a particle system to our scene like we did last time. As you see, we have the exact same three components added. And I'm just going to zoom a little bit in on it. Whoops. A little too much okay and the first thing I want to do is kind of get the shape of my portal and I want it to be thin so if we go and look at it at the side now it's it's pretty thin and I'm actually going to turn it a bit I want it to be facing this way a bit more and I want to move it down uh, down a bit more not too much though so about there is where I want it to be positioned and I'm going to go ahead and come down to the particle renderer and I'll turn off cast shadows, receive shadows. I'm going to switch it over to a stretched and then I'm going to change the length scale to one and we'll do velocity scale of two. And I think that's all we're going to do here. We're not going to play around with the UV animations. I'm going to close that up. I'm going to come back up to the ellipsoid particle emitter and I'm going to add a angular velocity uh, let's say 100 and a tangent velocity on the I guess we'll do the Z of 0.1 so as you can see we have it, all these things shooting out from the center and if we just take a look here zoom in that looks pretty good uh, what I'm going to do now is come down to my particle animator and I want to adjust the local rotation scale and I'm going to do it on Z and I'll just start off with a 1 and as you can see now they're spinning uh, I'm going to come back up to my ellipsoid particle emitter and I'm going to change the size I want them a bit bigger but not too much bigger uh, let's go 0 0.25 and I want them to stay the same size. That's a bit better. I do want them to grow. So let's come down. I believe that was particle renderer. Uh, actually, it was particle animator. And grow size. Uh, I'm going to say 0.5 to kind of fill in some of this emptiness. And let's also change the min emitter range to 1. To make the center a little less populated. That's starting to get what I want. Uh, I'm going to increase the size a bit more. Let's say 0.5. I don't want them too big. And of course this could drastically change according to uh, the texture that you're actually using. I'm just using the default materials you can see down here. Uh, at the very end we'll play around with the materials and see you know, how they work. Uh, but if I actually go into game I'm going to leave it running. If I go into game right now and take a look, uh, you know, it's just this white wisp thing here. So let's add some color. Um, see, on the outside, I know I'm going to want uh, a fairly bright color. And I'm just going to aim for pink. Actually, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's move that back over there. Let's actually go with uh, the fro game colors. And we'll go with that then. Actually, let's lower its opacity to about 25%. Uh, generally, I like the my starting and ending colors to be a, a much lower opacity. Uh, I find it just gives a nice, uh, kind of like a wispy smoke look to it. And my inside color, I'm going to go with a darker green. And I'm going to set it to 25%. And then just fill in the, the other three colors. Uh, I guess I'll go with the middle. We'll do this nice neon color. And I'm going to give it a 50%. And let me see here. Maybe we'll go about there with another 50%. And up here, something a little darker. Uh, maybe about there at 50%. Uh, still doesn't look that great. I think we used too many of the exact well, same color line. So let's mix this up a bit. Let's go with uh, maybe some brown. 
And again, I'm actually going to lower it to 25%. I actually really want a wispy look to it. And of course, you know, you probably want to change these according to, you know, the feel that you're going for. And for some reason, I just want the color pink in there. So let's go start that up and take a look to see how it looks in game. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Let's increase the length of time that they live for. Uh, that makes it really big. Uh, I'm going to change the scale down to 1 and maybe 0 0.5. So we'll give it a second to go. And it's very bright. It's like a big hollow ring right now. So let's let it, let it run. Uh, maybe my mini meter range I might want to bring back down. And possibly use some darker colors. I'm just going to keep tweaking some settings here. I don't want a whole lot of particles, so I obviously want want it to last longer than three, but less than five. What about three to five? Still a little too bright, I think, on the ends. Let's bring the mini meter range down to one, because I do kind of want a, a bit of a hole in the center. Uh, where's my size grow? I'm going to bring that down. Uh, I want a bit more than that. I might just actually increase my particles. Well, let's go up to 100. Still not exactly what I'm looking for. I think that's a little bit closer to what I want. I might have to change the colors as these colors don't really seem to be working well together. Uh, let me just try with no hole in the middle and changing the opacity in the center. Change the colors up a bit. As you see, a lot of it's just trial and error. this lime green just isn't working. Let's go with the blue. And maybe a very light green here. I think that's probably good enough for now. I'm just going to leave it like that till we actually start adding a texture to it. might help if I look at it this way because when I'm looking at it this way it's pretty much just the sky behind it. I'm actually going to turn these back up. I actually like these turned up. It seems to give more of the effect that I'm looking for. I'm going to have to change the, the size that they're growing at. because uh, they're still very uh, kind of like a cloudy so maybe if I don't want them to grow at all that seems to be a bit better now I want to lower the opacity of 
the main color here because I really do want a bit of a transparency. I think that's pretty close to what I am looking for. Let's add some randomness on the X. I'm actually going to turn off simulate and world space because this particle system isn't going to be moving around anyway. And if I do move it around, I want the portal to stay intact. Okay, so let me see. We'll come up here. I don't want any tangent velocity. Uh, maybe some random velocity on something like the X and Y. Uh, let's give it one's probably way too much. What I'm looking for is to kind of give it those uh, sort of like wispy arms, as you can see, starting to form here. And it's kind of hard to actually see in in the uh, editor because. Uh, you get all the outlines of the particle system. So I think that actually looks pretty good to what I want. I just want it to be smaller. So we can change a few of the options here. Uh, mostly down here. Let's just try a one down here. And once you put a frame around it, like I want it to be bigger than the person, probably about twice the size of my character. So I think it's still a little bit too big. Because once uh, some of uh, my portals will have archways around them. And, well, it's, it's not that much bigger than what I want. I don't really want to change these too much more. I want it to rotate just a bit slower. Let's try half that speed. Uh, but basically you can just keep tweaking these out and season to your own flavor. Uh, maybe if I go up a bit in speed. I'll just keep letting it run as some people might be interested. So that just makes it rotate really fast. Let's see how that actually looks in game. Is it too fast? It does kind of cause that ball in the center, but that's, that's fine. I actually think I might have the opacity down a little bit too low on some of these. I kind of want a defined edge on the outside. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the material. So let me say open this up. Uh, by default you just have the built-in default particle one. Uh, Fro Games does come its proto pack with a few assets that you can use for your um, materials. And if we go ahead and take a look at some of them here, uh, here's just a square. Let me just click on the particle system. And I'll just start dragging some of these on. You can see the different effects that it has. And these are very simple uh, system or very simple textures. And you can get much more complex ones by building them yourself. But as you can see, it really does change how it looks. Let me actually start it up. And we'll change them on the fly. And I actually want to view it from this side. I think you get a better image of it. Now, if I had fewer particles, it probably I could not have so bright in the center here. But let's go ahead and keep dropping different particles on, and you can see the different effects. Uh, let's check out particle three, particle four, actually kind of looks cool. Now I have gone ahead and used the exact same methods that we have already and made a different particle system uh, for my portal. I'm just going to drag and drop that onto the scene here. And let's go take a look at that one in game. 
Uh, so there it is right there. It's pretty much the exact same thing, except I have a different part, of, uh, different material for it. Now, one thing I do know that I am going to want to add, let me get rid of the one that I made earlier. And we'll select the current one. Uh, one thing I do know I want to add to it is a collider. And I'm just going to go with the box collider. And I'm going to want to shape this box collider to fit uh, pretty snugly around my portal system. And the reason why I'm adding a collider is because when the player enters this portal, I want to be able to use the on trigger enter event to send the player to where they're supposed to go, like where the portal is supposed to send them. So let me just open this up. I'm actually just going to center it. And then just start scaling on the axes that need to be scaled. So I'll just start off on Z, bring it right in. And I actually want it inside the portal on the Z. I want it very thin. I want the person to actually have to enter the portal before they're shot somewhere. And then on X and Y, it should be the same size since it is uh, round. Uh, three looks actually about good. Maybe four. Uh, again, if you have a frame going around it, some sort of archway or something, you'd probably want this to fill the archway. And I want to turn the is trigger on. Uh, so that way the player can't actually see it, but when they we get around to adding a script to it, when they enter it, you can capture that on trigger enter. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to keep tweaking my little settings here and I get it to the way I like. Um, mm -hmm. Once you have your basic portal system done, uh, well, at least the, the particle effect for it, uh, go ahead and make a video of it and upload it to as a response to this video so everyone else can see exactly uh, what everyone else's portals are going to look like. I think it'll be kind of interesting to see what everyone else is doing. But anyway, uh, thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.